Okay, so it should be dry now. And I think it turned out super adorable. So I think the most time it just waiting for it to dry is uh, what took me the longest to do. But anyway, so now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. Just kind of um, spice it up a little bit. So first off, I'm going to use, I can't remember what, the acrylic plates are really cool, but they're kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see that. XY-L13. I got this off of eBay. And I'm going to just do a little bit of a zigzag to design. So I'm just going to grab my black, and this is uh, Puin. So I'm going to do a few different designs on here. So, just getting my cotton claw ready I'll, for cleanup. Okay. kind of smudged it but I only want a little bit of the design anyway so I'm going to do like two lines so that's what I'm going to do and lint roller clean it up designs. Okay, so clean up that mess. Okay, so that's the one plate. So now I want to add some cute little stars to the design. And um, I don't want all of them, but I have this, I bought this from Bundle Monster and um, it's like a mini um, so it's got this size on the one side and then the bigger side um, they had a big sale on and um, I saw my girlfriend Terry um, she purchased it and for like single images and um, I thought it was awesome so but it was too cheap to pay full price for it because well for one they're an American company and the exchange rate to Canadian is a little steep and um, yeah I did so but they had a half price sale so it's like okay we will buy it now so let's see so I don't want all of these stars So I'm thinking I should got off way more than I wanted. But as you can see, it picked up amazingly well. to do a couple stars. So what I'm gonna do is I got this uh, Pro FX sticky tape or sticky base coat. So 
So I'm just going to put it. Oh, sorry. I guess you want to see where I'm putting it, huh? Just in these little spots. Then, when I put my stars down, oh, fucking tape. Sorry, I swore. <laughs> it's not cooperating with me. I guess I should have showed you on camera. I'm sorry. Totally uh, spaced out there. So I got two on there, I think. I might put a third over there. Tape. Get that off of there. And that one's kind of demented, so I'm going to take that one off. And put that one there. I might do one more little star. I'm going to take my tape again. Oh, sorry, I keep not putting in a frame. It's not a good day today for some reason. So there, there's the stars. Okay, so just make more of a mess. Okay, so next one I'm gonna try is this image. This one, it's I think it's um I don't know what the dis the symbols are, um, and then it's L. 005 and I got this off of Born Pretty. I think it's a Harunta plate, something like that. But anyway, I kind of like this image. And uh, I'm going to put more sticky base and on this one and this one because I only want part of the design I don't want all of it so and then I'm gonna get a new piece of tape I'm gonna probably take a lot of the image off and I'll try and be in camera frame so you can see it So there's the image. So now I'm going to take off a majority of it. So it's a super quick So it's kind of cool to be able to do this. So you don't get all the image that you don't want. You just have to be patient and take off parts. So there. And I'm going to kind of 
center it there. Too bad. So a little bigger than I wanted. Maybe I'll make this one, the new one, a little smaller. So oh. some more acetone. more tape ready. Two pieces. I want to do more of the image, make it smaller. Just want the center. And then the stamper. And there it is. Okay. So I'm going to go through and take off the majority of it. Oops. I was just wondering, I wonder if this will work. Cool. So I'm just taking my silicone brush and I'm just kind of going in. Peeling away the part I don't want. So then take the bulk of it off. That's better. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to ha, love that. Ta da! That looks pretty cool. Okay, so that was easy. Let's do it again. So sometimes if you have different images and you only want part of them, this would be a way of doing it. Um, I don't have like a whole lot of stamping plates compared to some of the ladies out there. Um, I'm, I've gotten a lot more these past few years since I've been getting into stamping. Um, but sometimes you have an image just like... You can use part of it. Oh, and I forgot to put sticky base, so I'll put the sticky base. Now I probably didn't need to do the whole nail, but you know, I'm getting talking, so I forget. So I'll take off the majority of it. I think I'm gonna do the silicone tool. And actually, I'll use this one. So this is a good way of, of uh, multi-purposing some of your plates. So if you have better images or partial images, you can get creative if you don't have the exact image that you want. So then I'm just going to go in my tape. And as long as you have a tacky surface on your nail, sitting it on the stamper for this long, um, 
it'll still adhere to your nail. So I'm going to do one there. And I think I might do another one on this side. Or maybe do a couple of the little tiny stars. Yeah, I think a couple of the little tiny stars would be cool. So it'll tie them all in. Okay. Sometimes I don't have a clear, you know, idea of what I want. Um, I just kind of have like a ballpark and then I just kind of wing it as I go. Where's my scraper? Oh, right beside me. That's the little guy. bit of a waste picking off all the, the little stars but this way I get them exactly where I want them Okay, so let me just clean this up, and uh, but this is the look so far. I think it's cute. Okay, let me clean it up, and I'll be right back for a moment. Okay, so I've cleaned it up and top coated it, and um, I'm actually really loving how it came out. I smudged the pinky just um, slightly. I did try to clean it up a little bit, um, but uh, other than that, um, I think it <laughs> turned out really funky. I love it. So um, I hope you like it too, um, and I hope you're having a great day. And uh, thank you for watching, and um, bye for now.